and hello internet. Today is Friday, March the 16th. It is a wonderful day outside. Spring has finally sprung and that's all I have to say about that. It took me three tries again to get the stupid date right uh, and this is the last time I'm doing it so here you go guys. Two quick things. Contest update. Uh, there's a couple things I'm, I'm interested in with this contest that's going on. Mind you, there's one week left, so if you haven't put a submission in, go ahead, do it now. You will get a... where the heck do they go? Uh, here we are. You will get a LTD deck from Illusionist. Uh, right now, there's only like five or six entries, so I'm wondering where everybody else is. I've got like a couple hundred views on the page, five or six entries, so it looks like it's not really going to be much of a contest for... Um, those odds are pretty good. I'd take those odds any day. So there you go. Get a 60 second review in for a free LTD deck from me, not from Illusionist. This has nothing to do with Illusionist. It is just from me. The second bit of news, uh, it's a little bit of an unboxing and some bad news at the same time. And I'll show you why in a second. I got this in the mail the other day. Actually, I got this in the mail today, not the other day. Who am I trying to kid, right? Now, as I open this, I'm going to tell you a little bit of history with some things that are going on. It's been about seven years, uh, 2005, I think 2005. It's been about seven years since the Black Tiger deck has been brought to print. And in that seven years, you have seen a shit ton of decks. You have seen decks from 311, you've seen decks from Illusionist, Magic Makers. You've even seen the decks from USPC with their green and pink and blue and whatever decks. The market has been saturated. Uh, it is inundated like you would not believe. And so as a result of that, magicians, uh, card lovers everywhere, they can go pretty much anywhere they want to get the free decks, not the free decks, but they get the decks that they want. The look that they want, the, uh, the color that they want, the style that they want, the finish, you name it, you can get it. Will, is there an end in sight? Who knows? Uh, I honestly don't think there is. There's going to have to be a, um, you know how there was like Web.1 and uh, Web 2.0? There's going to have to be Cards 2.0 now. We're going to, everyone's going to have to up their game soon because of the saturation, because there's so much out there. Uh, and it's the next couple of months to year is really going to be interested for the custom card market. But the bad news, uh, in the, the, the box I got from Illusionist contains, let's see here, nine of the, oh, the, the lighting, there we go, nine of the Tally Ho Vipers and a brick, a damaged brick, I might add, of the White Tigers, the White Pips only. Now I'm just going to pop these open. Go ahead and open this. Yeah. And I'm not going to open these cards. You know what they look like. You, you've seen them. They've been around for years. The Tigers, these were the original Tigers. The Bicycle White Tigers uh, followed up the second edition. There was the Red Tigers, obviously, were the second deck printed. But then the Vipers were the ones that were coming in. Uh, the, the, sorry, that had come in. There was the all silver, and then there was the silver and red. Today, as of today, these are no longer available on the site. They are not being reprinted, um, not for the next couple of years. So, if you've got a deck of these, or if you've got a deck of these, in particular, you have temporarily the only ones that are available, unless you're getting them from a wholesaler, uh, unless you're getting them from somewhere online where they bought a whole bunch and they don't realize that they're the last ones. Now there's, you know, will they be reprinted? I can't tell. Who knows? They might be. They might not be. But for now, you can't get them anywhere. You can't get them on the site. There was a few more left of these, but uh, on my recommendation, what they've done is they've gone ahead and pulled the rest. There was like less than 50, if I'm not mistaken. They've pulled the rest, and in the future, they might be just you know kept in storage as a you know reference if they're never reprinted. They might be given away in contests. Who knows? That's not for me to decide. Uh, so, so there you go. That's really all the news I wanted to give you. It was just a quick little update regarding the uh, the um, the LTD contest, and that these are no longer available. If you're lucky, you might be able to go to an online retailer, uh, find them uh, at a magic store, get a whole bunch now because they guarantee uh, once people realize that they're not getting their hands on these for the next couple of years, for some reason, demand is going to go up. Why? I have no idea. But once you can no longer get it, people want it. That's the way it goes. So you guys have a good Friday. It is the end of March break. It's been a very quiet week here with me. Been, you know, actually cleaning up the office a little bit, rearranging. As you can see, the uh, my little knickknack shelf here behind me. And whoa, look, look at that over there. Look at that over there. For those of you who haven't been watching Rewind with Xavier Spade, by all means, go ahead and watch that. Uh, illusions.com slash rewind, I think it is. And you will be able to get some good advice, be entertained. Uh, this is actually a really good series that has been um, about four, four or five weeks now that's being produced. I enjoy it myself. It actually gives me something to think about as I do these things. And it's always nice to know that there's other like-minded people out there. That's one thing I love about Rewind. 
I watch a lot of magic on the on the YouTube, on the web, everywhere. And it's always nice to know there's people out there that think the same thing, the same way I do. So you guys have a good weekend. Today is still Friday, March the 16th. It is a gorgeous day outside here in Canada, close to Niagara Falls, Ontario. If you uh, live near me, by all means, go ahead and drop me a ping. Maybe we can get together. Maybe we can jam. Maybe we don't. Who knows? But go outside, enjoy. The weather is fantastic. If you live somewhere where it's warm already, still go outside, still enjoy the weather. It's still fantastic. You guys have a good weekend, and my name is David Mitchell. Bye.